Carlos Ramirez, owner of NVS Audio in Roselle, New Jersey. So, the new heavy duty mid bass driver from Euphoria Expert arrived today. The new Carbon Fiber XL 10MB Neo. It's a monster. I put it next to the regular Neo MB, and it's a lot bigger. Everything about it is bigger. So, what I did was. Uh, I haven't put in a bag yet. I haven't tested it yet. I just put it through quick, some quick little tests, ran some pink noise through it because there is some debate that the new Euphoria Expert mid bass driver and the bass driver and the new DD Audio mid bass drivers. are subwoofers just labeled as mid-bass drivers. So I ran some pig noise through the speaker just to prove that this is a true mid-bass driver. Um, hopefully I'll be able to do the same thing with the DD Audio. Uh, I haven't got my hands on one yet, but um, I tested it and it does. It plays uh, upwards of 5,000 Hertz, obviously something you can't do with a subwoofer. So um, they're not lying, it is a mid-bass driver. It might be pushing the limits of what a mid-bass driver is, but it's got a big rubber surround, a giant magnet structure, all things you don't see in a mid-bass driver, but frequency response matches what they've published. So it, it is a mid-bass driver. Um, in my opinion, this is not to be used in stock saddlebags. It's really big, it's really heavy, and it requires a lot of power. So to me, in my opinion, this is a competition level speaker to be used in competition bikes with aftermarket bags or really strong parking lot pimps. I know people are gonna go out and buy it because it's the newest, latest and greatest. So people that don't need it and won't be able to power it are gonna buy it. I know they're gonna do it. Um, you gotta remember, we were running the regular ones on a 1600.1 or a 3000.1. So these, and those claim to be 800 watts RMS. These have a larger voice coil and they're claiming 1600 watts RMS. So if you're running the other ones on a 1600 or 3K, these would require a 3K or 5,000. Uh, you can't run a 3K or 5,000 without a lithium battery or maybe two. So these are things to consider before you purchase a speaker or think about running this speaker. Um, it's, it's, a really heavy, really powerful competition level mid bass driver. It's, it's, I can't see this thing sounding good in a stock saddlebag. And the amount of work that you would have to do to get this to sound good in a stock saddlebag, you might as well just purchase an aftermarket bag that's already set up for this because you're going to have to brace, you're going to have to do three, four, five, six layers of fiberglass. And then in order to take advantage of how powerful this speaker is, you're gonna need more airspace and a pretty large port in my opinion. But um, you guys can do whatever you wanna do. These, these are just my opinions. Um, we will have them in the shop. This will be, I don't expect to sell very many of these cause these are for bigger builds and big power and amps mounted in the tour pack and giant aftermarket bags. But uh, this is gonna be a game changer in the featherweight and lightweight classes. Um, where you're not allowed subwoofers. So people are pushing the limit of what a mid-bass driver can do. And this is the most powerful one I've personally got my hands on so far. And we run 3,000 to 5,000 watt amps to mid-bass drivers, but uh, these, none of them have been this big or this powerful. So it's gonna be exciting to see what we can do with these speakers and what everybody else. Scott Owens has been running them for a while, and then he's always doing amazing things with the DB Drive Euphoria Expert product, so that's no surprise. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see what people do with these, but um, my recommendation amplifier-wise, obviously a good tune, DSP. Uh, Got to be careful with the slopes, and 5000.1 is what I recommend, whether either the 5K from Euphoria Expert or the 5K from Sound Digital. Uh, uh, I'm trying to think what other 5,000 watt amps would fit in a tour pack without drawing an ungodly amount of current to run these. 
But uh, those are the two amps that we would use. Oh, no, the new 4000.1 from uh, uh, Matt's. That's, that's something we could definitely use. That amplifier we put on the test bench. And dynamic power, we got over 5,000 watts RMS. So it's a 4000.1. So those are three amplifiers we would use here to run this beast. But um, here, check out the quick preliminary test that I ran. Uh, all I did was run pink noise through it and put an RTA microphone over it to see if the speaker played up into mid-bass, mid-range frequency, and it does. I put a Kicker Solobaric L7 that I had sitting on the test bench right next to it, and that doesn't play up above a few hundred hertz. So obviously the characteristics of the speaker are more aligned with a mid-bass, mid-range than a subwoofer. So check it out. I'll have my full review up soon. Uh, we have a set going in this week. I don't want to say on what bike yet, but um, I will definitely put them through the test. Hopefully I have the full review video up next week. Okay, so here's the standard EX10 NMB. And here's the new EX10 NMB CFXL. XL, because it's bigger, it's extra large. So two inch voice coil, three inch voice coil, plastic, paper cone, carbon fiber, smaller surround, larger surround, larger flange, smaller flange. Obviously, smaller magnet, larger magnet, and double the power handling. So we went from 800 watts RMS to 1600 watts RMS. Just got them in today. Haven't tested them yet, but we already know everything Euphoria Expert is monstrous. Okay, some of you are saying that that is not a mid-bass driver. So we're running pink noise through a subwoofer. There's the response. Now everything the same, we're gonna move it over to here. So there's Eclipse. There you go, so we have a movement all the way up to 8K, running pink noise. And you can clearly hear the difference. Mid-bass driver. Subwoofer. Base driver. So I don't know any subwoofer that can play up four, five, six K. Mid base driver. Subwoofer.